Hi everyone, we're here today with Aragon and we have Brett Sun and John Light talking about their new project. Hi you guys. Doing so great. first question, Brett, can you tell us a little bit about Aragon and what an EVM engineer does? Sure. Um, so Aragon really at its core is about reimagining what organizations will be in the future and how we can achieve that through decentralized systems and decentralized governance. Awesome. And uh, uh, I guess on the EVM part, yeah. um, I, I work actually full stack across JavaScript and, and EVM, but an EVM engineer typically writes smart contracts, uh, will do some audits of smart contracts, will make sure everything's secure and safe and um, uh, design architectures uh, on the contracts so that uh, front ends can use them properly. Awesome. So you guys are working on Ethereum. So are you at all concerned about the scaling issues and how do you plan to uh, try and tackle that? I guess everyone is concerned about the scaling problem. Right. <laughs> um, as for how we're tackling it, it's really, we're not, the, we're not gonna be experts, let's say at sharding or state channels or whatnot, sure. um, as much as we'd like to be, but we're open, you know, we've got our heads up and ears open uh, about what's going on in the space. How can we help or how can we start building on some of these solutions? Um, and uh, we also have Nest pro uh, a Nest program uh, that gives grants, and we actually just gave a sharding implementation a grant so that they could keep building. That's awesome. At Prismatic Labs. So do you want to talk about what you do uh, at Aragon? Yeah, so I'm the community lead at Aragon, um, and so I spend about half my time kind of online with the online community on like our Aragon chat, which is our main chat room. Um, as well as uh, like Reddit and Twitter and other places where the community might be hanging out and asking questions or sharing information about the project online. Sure. And then the other half kind of uh, in, in the meet space here, right. uh, helping to organize events. Uh, when we go to conferences, I'll help organize a, like, uh, you know, satellite events nearby for the Aragon community to kind of come together and meet face to face, um, as well as like, uh, talking to the meetup organizers such yeah. as yourself and getting you know our, our uh, developers and other people in the project uh, to share the good word about Aragon. Nice. So John, so <laughs> say I'm a developer and I really want to get started building on the Aragon platform, where would I start and what resources are available? Yeah, so we're working on uh, really the, the final kind of developer portal um, that, that developers will use to get started. Um, but the best place right now would be to join Aragon Chat, uh, which is just aragon.chat, mm -hmm. and join the dev channel there. Um, and then um, check out our GitHub, uh, where we have all of the repos to all of our projects, um, not only the smart contracts and the DAP, but also the dev tools that we yeah. use to, to, to build the project ourselves, um, dev tools that we're working on to make developing with Aragon easier as well as um, to just make the app better as well, like RadSpec, for example, which is a, a nice way to improve the yeah. user experience of, of uh, these decentralized applications. So once once you get a good overview of the GitHub, you can find a project that you're interested in yeah. and then ask one of our developers on the Aragon chat how you can best contribute. Awesome. And how are you incentivizing uh, folks to participate in your programs? Uh, so we use a program called Status Open Bounty um, to award bounties to people who are uh, fixing issues in the various repos that we have yeah. for the Aragon project. Um, there are bounties for developers there, and mm -hmm. there's also bounties for, um, say, non-development yeah. uh, contributions as well, uh, whether that's contributing documentation sure. uh, to any of our code projects or contributing to more of the on the community side, yeah. like our wiki yeah. or uh, the monthly newsletter that we put out, which is community made and curated. Nice. So everyone can play. Everyone mm -hmm. can play. Yeah, yeah. awesome. So we I mean, want to include everybody, not, yeah. not just engineers, but also, um, you know, designers, writers, and other people who believe in our vision yeah. and want to contribute. Awesome. So you guys are essentially trying to bring DAO back, uh, and that's kind of a little bit of a dirty word still, even though it's been a couple of years. Can you talk a little bit about your security threat model and how you're thinking about vulnerabilities in the system? Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, I mean, threat models, of course, there's the smart contract side. Um, that's 
potentially the most dangerous where you people will lose real money. Um, and so we undergo audits, of course, for smart contracts. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're doing two right now. Um, and hopefully when we do finish, uh, we'll feel comfortable releasing a mainnet. Yep. Um, we also have, well, we'll start a bug bounty program once we're on mainnet um, on our first DAOs. And um, other threat vectors, I guess, would be the front end and whatnot. Um, and I mean, those are kind of not so explored right now, but yeah. ideally in the future, we'd model that a little bit more, do more um, penetration testing on what we assume to be safe in the front end. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, so to wrap up, maybe if you can share kind of like what is your vision for kind of the future of decentralization and why is your project so exciting to you guys? I think, um, I mean, in many ways, I do believe decentralized organizations can solve the world's worst problems. Um, a big reason why I got and I joined Aragon um, was because of countries like Venezuela, mm-hmm. where national governments are corrupt and broken and there's nothing they can do. No people don't have the power to do anything because they're central authorities. Yeah. And if we can decentralize that and start dissolving those structures into uh, organizations and, and more people, yeah. then hopefully that won't uh, show up as much or yeah. empower other people. Yeah. I think that's such an awesome mission, you guys. Uh, I hope everyone can get involved. Check out Aragon. Uh, thank you so much for coming to give a talk uh, to SF Crypto Devs and then for the interview. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank thanks you. for having us.